Yo guys welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome stacked shape animation inside of Filmora 13. So let's get started. Okay guys in this tutorial I use 1920 by 1080 resolution with 60 fps. So then we need to add a shape. So select the shape tool in the toolbar. Then I select the rectangle shape and I draw a square like this. Then I change these X and Y values to get the perfect square. And after that I lock this X and Y scale. Then I bring this to center and change the corner radius value to 8. Also I disable this shape border. Then you can adjust the layer length you like. So I take 10 seconds long part. After that we need a few shapes layers like this. So I take a copy of this layer and paste 3 times like this. Okay then you can add color to these shapes, so I add it like this. Okay then we need to change these shape layers to compound clips. So I select my first shape layer, and press Alt plus G to create a compound clip. Then you can add a name, and hit OK. Then do the same thing for other layers. Okay, then we need to animate these shapes. So let's see how to do that. So I select my first layer, and create a keyframe on scale and rotation. Then I change the scale to 70, and the rotation value to minus 15. After that go to 1.15 seconds, and change the scale back to 100. Then go to 1.30 seconds, and change the rotation to 15. Then go to the 3 second position, and change the scale to 70, and rotation to minus 15. Okay, now we have this kind of animation. So then we need to continue the same animation for other part. So I will show you how to do that easily. So select the keyframe, and right click, then select the select all keyframes. Then right click again, and select this copy keyframes. After that go to the last keyframe, and right click on the layer, select keyframe, then select paste keyframe. So I do the same thing one more time. So you need to repeat the same thing according to your layer length. So after that go to the keyframe panel, then select these all keyframes, and right click, then add the ease out preset to this. So now we have this kind of cool animation. So then we need to add this animation to our other layers. So simply select this first keyframe, then hold the control and shift keys, and select this last keyframe. So now we select the first set of our animation, right click, and take a copy. Then select all other layers, and paste the keyframes like this. Ok after that we need to adjust the scale of every keyframe. So I adjust it like this. After that we need to add these keyframes for other parts. So you can simply copy and paste these keyframes like we did before. Ok here I adjust my shape layers with different scales. So then we need to add a few more shape layers to fill this empty area. So select all these layers, and bring them to the top layer. Like the 20th layer. Then take a copy of these layers, and paste it right here. So after that we need to adjust the shape scales like before. So here I add a few more shape layers with different scale values. And now our stack shape animation looks like this. But you can see our animation happened same time. So let's add some delays to these layers. So go to 5 frames forward, and drag these layers like this. So after that our animation looks like this. So then we need to add a 3D depth look. So simply select all shape layers, and enable the drop shadow. Then you can simply copy my settings.
Okay, then we need to add a vignette to this. For that I add the adjustment layer to the timeline. Okay, then go to the color, scroll down, and select the vignette. So I change the vignette amount to minus 35, and round this to something like 5. Okay, now you can see we have a nice depth look in our animation. Also you can add text, logo, or anything you like. For that simply go into this top shape layer. Then go to the text. Add the text layer. Then customize it to whatever you like. Then go back to the main timeline. And it looks like this. Also if you need to add a logo, go again into this top shape layer and simply add your logo like this. So guys that's how we can make awesome stacked shape animation inside of Filmora 13. And you can download the complete project file through the link in the description. And also if you like this kind of tutorial, please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.